Thanks, Amar. And uh, now we're going to move on to Nick. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you all for being here and for um, making this game what it was. You know, I thought it was super fun. It was super challenging. And, um, you know, everyone was a really good sport about it, even though it can get really intense. Um, I know that I definitely had a few headaches uh, throughout the game. Um, <laughs> but that's mostly my own neuroses and pro probably overcommitment to <laughs> everything that happened. Um, so a lot of my game uh, was hidden. So I have to do a bit of an info dump here and I'm reading from notes. So please uh, bear with me, but I think that they're pretty interesting. Um, so here are the reasons why uh, I think my game deserves your vote. And of course the million dollars that goes along with it. So, sorry, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Um, first of all, <laughs> I had two idols. So for the first idol, um, everyone uh, got those clues together. Uh, I'm really sorry if you got to that puzzle uh, and Jacob had to tell you that someone else got that idol uh, because that puzzle was one of the hardest puzzles of my life. It took me a day to solve. I don't know if props are allowed, but um, I still have lots of papers lying around my computer uh, trying to deduce where the heck that thing was. Um, the second idol, I think, is super interesting. Um, so the second idol came at the final six, and everyone in the game could have gotten that idol. And I know that because I was in both of the group chats at that time, and everyone had the clues that they needed. Um, and I actually told Miriam and Amar to go get it because Grace wanted to stop playing for the night. Um, however, when my girlfriend, uh, and I assume everyone else in the game, was asleep, uh, I got to work finding that idol. And this is my you know, Tony Vlachos moment. This is, I guess, if you want to Ben Dreberg in it. Um, any one of those players who sort of put the work in uh, at night. And, uh, you know, if there's a way to empirically measure who was the most invested in the game at that point, I would say that that's it. Um, I knew that that idol was going to play a huge part in who went home at the final six. And I was right. It, it was Kai. And it was, you know, because he didn't have protection. Um, so when I told Amar and Mariam uh, that I found that idol the next morning, Mariam's first words were, you deserve to win. So those are my idols. Uh, and you're probably thinking, you know, shut up, Nick. Uh, two idols is nothing. Dean had two idols. Uh, we all know what happened to, to Dean. Um, huge shout out to Dean, by the way. I, I, <laughs> wish, I wish that uh, we could have aligned. You know, having four idols would have been really sick. Uh, <laughs> and I can't imagine your pain at being voted out too. That's freaking crazy. Um, so let's move on to how I played this game socially. Um, in the first hour of the game, I aligned with Amar, a total stranger. Uh, because for some reason, I thought he'd be good at this game. I, I still, I don't understand that instinct, but uh, I just went with it. Um, and we were basically in lockstep strategically for the rest of the game. Uh, maybe, maybe one bump in the road towards the end, but otherwise, lockstep. Um, at the swap, I aligned with Britt, Kai, and Miriam. And then at the merge, I did my best to shape the game so that the people I was aligned with the least went home first, and the people I was aligned with the most were sort of left there at the end. And I was closely aligned with everyone in the final six. That's both of the dominant alliances in this game. Britt, Kai, Grace and I, and Mariam, Amar, and me. And um, I think that at that point in the game, uh, no one else had a more complete view of the social map, the social hierarchy of the game. Uh, probably a little bit before that point as well. Um, I think that playing both sides uh, is a very risky game that can easily blow up in your face. Uh, but to my knowledge, uh, neither side ever questioned my loyalty or seriously considered targeting me, um, or at least it never amounted to anything because uh, both sides equally needed me on their team. Um, so how did I play with the people that I wasn't aligned with. Well, first of all, I tried to communicate with everyone, regardless of where they stood in the game. Um, Kate, I am sorry, uh, I got your number wrong twice. Uh, I think I was actually talking to Alan for part yeah. of the game. Um, and I just thought that uh, if I tried to work with you after the first couple of weeks, it might come off fake or disingenuous. So I kind of let that go. But my goal was to try to have some kind of working relationship with everyone. However, I tried to avoid being underhanded or deceiving people. I know that um, there were times in this game where 
you know, Liam and Holly approached me with uh, ideas or proposals and I told them straight up, it's not um, in my interest to vote with you. Uh, and I was sorry, and I, I meant that. It was, it was never a personal thing. It was um, just how things shook out. Um, so I tried to avoid deception unless it was necessary for my game. And for that, uh, I am really sorry, uh, Britain Kai. Oh my God, what am I doing? Sorry. This is so dumb. Um, <laughs> but uh, I felt bad. I felt bad um, that I had to lie so uh, fully to you guys um, about being blind. Um, I think, you know, if this game was played in real life rather than over Zoom, I probably would have crumbled like I'm doing now. Um, you know, I, I felt super guilty. Um, but I knew that if I honored that alliance, uh, it would mean that I was out at fourth, um, basically, unless I won a challenge. I think that um, Holly put it really well. It was going to be a coin flip, and I wanted um, to secure my fate in the game. I wanted to know for sure that I was making it to the end and not base it on, you know, a random skill set or a challenge or anything like that. Um, finally, uh, one second. <laughs> so, um, Grace and I are the last pair standing, and this has never happened on a Survivor Blood <laughs> versus Water style season ever. We are officially the Rob and Amber of this game, and I, I think that's Amber. Awesome. She's way better than Amber. Um, <laughs> And uh, I did my part to make that possible by maneuvering between these two awesome alliances. Um, so now comes the part of the speech, might be your favorite part, uh, why my game sucked. So my game sucked because I never won immunity. Uh, I won reward, uh, yes, I won uh, six out of eight tribal immunities, um, but I never won individual immunity. And that's a great point. That is a weakness of my game. My answer to that is I didn't need it. Um, the majority of the time I knew for sure I didn't. I tried and I failed for the last three to four challenges. Uh, and I think I had something way more valuable than immunity for most of the game, um, which is people who wouldn't or couldn't vote me out because of how I played with them. There was never a vote cast against me. After that one cheeky little vote at the very first tribal council, uh, I still don't quite know what happened there, but um, my mushroom never got extinguished uh, because you can't extinguish a mushroom. Um, but that is not the best example of my social game. I promise I'm, I'm nearing the end of this speech. Um, that is the Mariam deal. Uh, so Mariam uh, agreed to step out of the game at the final four so that Amar and I could make it further, which was super selfless on her part. Um, and she meant it. Um, you know, there was a wrench thrown into that, but she wanted to vote for herself at the final four. She really did mean that deal. And we need to look at this deal. She's going to step out of the game for me and Amar. How long has Mariam known Amar for? 15 years. How long has she known me? We've never met. And how is that possible? Well, it wasn't any kind of next level strategy. I just made real bonds with the people that I played with, that I cared about. And I think that that amounted to the best social game this season. There's zero doubt in my mind. Um, you know, I did my best to balance my respect for all the people playing this game against my crazy intense desire to you know, get to the end and put myself first um, and get there in the most secure way possible. Um, I wanted to use the social bonds I made to insulate myself from being voted out and I succeeded. So I don't know if this speech has been enough to sway your decision one way or another. Um, I'm pumped for your questions. Uh, I hope that you came here tonight with an open mind. I really appreciate that you heard me out. And I also hope that maybe by the end of the night, you can see that I'm the one who played the hardest, never needed immunity, got those idols, made the alliances and deals that led Grace and me to be the last pair standing, uh, wrote a ridiculously long speech for the final travel council. Uh, <laughs> and for that, I deserve your vote. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Nick. Uh, 